On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Thursday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. Now, in the morning, my peeps, we're in the streets of Montego Bay. Boy, I mean, I tell you, say, the tourism capital of our great nation. Anywhere you're there, any first world country where you go and you hear somebody say, yo, I want to visit Jamaica. When you ask them where you're going to visit or where would you like to visit, it's one or two places always come out of their mouth. It's either I'm going to Mobe or we're going to Ochos Rios because that is what they call it. They don't say Ocho Rios or Ochi. They say Ochos Rios. So, Montego Bay should be a place where it is looked on in a positive light. But because of the old dirty kind of boy, them were spread far and wide in a Mobile. May I tell you, say, Mobile is no playpen whatsoever. Now, we are going to go into the rural section of Mobile, St. James. I went to Mr. Rural, I mean deep rural, because as a youth and we used to trudge through them streets there. Them places that mega talk about right now are real rural St. James. Be a bush who so there them place there and no farm of badness, peace and tranquility was the order of the day. But the spread of the germs them, the old dirty kind of boy them reach into these deep rural communities. And I make them deep rural communities, yeah, coming like over Flanka, coming like over Glendevon, now with the whole of them place there. Nothing, no different, none at all, no way at all in a Montego Bay right now. No matter how rural you go, remember me tell you, round the hot and our one place you want to play with. No way at all about Adelphi. We are talking about places like Content, Paisley, Chatham, Lima, Orange, the whole of them places there. Back in the days, peace and tranquility was the order of the day in them places there. Now, it is not like that. Well, right now, I'm going to bring two, you know, two set of old dirty corner boy where I plague those areas. We are talking about this brother on your screen that goes by the name of Grim. And of course, him one time friend, no rival. Not a rival in a sense where knockings and clappings are going just yet. But friends definitely turn enemies nonetheless. This other one goes by the name of Grimlad. Now the both of them used to be friends under one umbrella. Used to run off a little section with them call the Grim Team. Now them have a split. One decides they have a call theme thing Wildlife. And the one that is Grim Team decides that I'm going to change for them name now to be 87s. And you know what the term 87s represent in the streets. Everybody listening to this program, I'm pretty sure you have not heard the term 87 for the first time. Now from a group of young men can call themselves or refer to themselves as 87s. What is that saying to you? Are these guys innocent? That is the question, and may I go see if police slap with somebody from the Grim Team, no 87s, who now go up there and block the road, because on the spot news media will be the first one. We are going to just cuss you know, and make you know that you is a set of dirty kind of people, and you know, probably deserve certain things we are reaching. You know. So watch this now, my peeps. This is the leader of the wildlife gang, a man known in the streets as Grim. Are brown man. No, he lives in the Paisley area and content, and of course, round upon the hill drive. This so a theme territory right off this so. So now this brother on your screen right now. This is him for sure, but he does not look like this presently, as he starts to sport dreadlocks for the past year and a half, probably two years. So he's no longer looking like this. The person in front of you is now a dreadlocks. Now the leader of the wildlife gang, aka Grim, drives a silver 
pickup truck. You definitely can't miss him. When time them man they keep party, party play right through the night. Deaf the people them up there will want to go a little sleep for go work in the morning. So right now this brother here is a dangerous youth. He calls the shots in that gang. If anybody fi lose them three pints, courtesy of a thing with them call knockings and clappings, him are the man we send out the hit and say, yo, that man they for dirt or that man they for get clap we. Yeah, man. So right now the residents in those communities is in fear because I know the regular Mantigonian most of the time live up in a them place there. Them people are not used to them type of dirty life yeah. So the people them definitely fearful because all of this new to them. Yeah man, may I tell you. So watch this now. He has a little brother that goes by the name of Dada Wildlife. We get to understand so you boy Dada, you put your hand on a big old man with the yeah. Disrespect the people them. And everybody mouth zip. Nobody no say nothing at all. And it would have seemed as if, boy, you no know, bigger than the law up there. Right now, one of the youngest youth them were par in the old dirty corner boy crew. Slap where a man was there down a Plasley community. For nothing at all, you know. <laughs> I tell you, say, yo, them boy, they are some wicked set of boy. Right in the little dirt track there, so. In the community, him slap with the big man. And them thing there, can't work. And just a few weeks ago too, the same gang members slap with a youth in the community of Adelphi, a place named Content. Yeah man, give him about 40 hundred. I tell you say, the man then done clips after clips after clips from the youth. The youth come from over the Orange community. Now, for those who not understand the seriousness of what Andy Spot News Media talk about. I want to hear from persons living in these communities in the comment section. I want to say yeah or nay because people really need to understand where I'm going up a bush mouth there, so. because not because up there so. I want to look a remote rural type of place. The old dirty boy them up the same way I go on with a bug out of the business. Now we are going to talk about the affiliates of the wildlife gang. Well, on your screen is two old dirty corner boy, two strong men in the wildlife gang. Right now, Bunkin is the one to the right and to the left is a youth of them called Bobby, a.k.a. Father. Yeah, man. Now, both of them, as I say, are strong men in the gang. Now, Bobby plays a big role. And some people think he's also the Dan. For sure, he said, he's one of the real upfront man them. Now, this man on the screen is known as Scatman. Now, Scatman is one of the first tap -a tap so called Dan man them, Philadelphia. But the thing why Scatman name come up in a this is because him are the man who help Bill Bobby. And Bobby was his right hand man before Bobby decides say he might go switch up the thing and go par with brown man that are grim, yeah man, and build them own gang and call it wildlife. So this picture you right now, the leader is on the left, and in the middle is one of them friends of them called Teeth Man, another dangerous youth too, in the streets, and on the far right is the brother of the leader. His name is Mangle, also a very strong contender in the wildlife gang. So people in these areas who no need for know these things. No set them faces here. Yeah. And know some set a normal set of youth them. And we not give them no gloat, you know. We just make them know what it really is. So we can take the necessary precautions whilst approaching or living in these areas. Now on your screen, the one to your left. In the white and the cut off with blue jeans and the Beetlejuice socks. <laughs> yeah, man, them call him Biggs. Now, the next one where the side I'm is a strong key player in the thing. Them call him Rush. Now, many will refute the claim. Say Rush in a nothing because Rush is a known music producer. Now, as we all know and we have all seen right across Jamaica, how many of our so-called music producers not only produce music, but them produce a lot of violence. And we can call some name. 
We are talking about youth like Shabdan from Mobile, big violence producer, not only a music producer. We are talking about one from Tivoli, we are called Live Up from Live Up Records. We are talking about black man in the Klansman gang trial right now. We are talking about the youth up at Grand Spen where the police them clap where, where producer sang for Joshi. All of them man there are violence producers too. So a lot of these music, these gangster type music, where a portray badness and a influence the youth, their mind, if you go slap with people and walk with tall up, tall up in a miggle day and all these things, are produced by these music producers slash aka violence producers. So them youth, they definitely depend on a mission to mash up Jamaica. So nobody watch this whole producer thing and because a man has a music and all these things, you are being fooled by it so one of your favorite artists too the one from glen devon who control a little part down a bottom pen them and i got call on him yet not just yet and for certain reasons but everybody know who may attack him always sing about him <laughs> yeah man and is a top player in a certain things too no this is a pick of all of them when time them young and used to par together. So you no know, say yo, this thing here I come from way back. And just because some man starts scam, some man starts sing one and two songs, the man them feel like so them have strap in the place and a mash up the nice decent community where them band come see and could have live until them grow up and nobody never have to bust off them head. Me not understand why them youths are decide to them have to come up and come mash up them own community. Instead of una build it, una tear it down. So anyway, my peeps, make we move on to the next man. Now all I want to go on is about the wildlife side of things and the man of them call Grim. Now we are going to talk about Grim Lad. As I say, both of them I did friends. Both of them did under one umbrella. But them have them like a personal differences and decide to split. Them no reach to a point where knockings and clappings are going after each other. Yet, note the term, yet. Now Grim Lad is from Lima. Also in Adelphi. But most of the time, him not really stay there night time, you know, because he's a youth where meds deep certain way. Why? Because them slap with one of them brother a flankers. Because him brother was a real troublemaker in the place, you know. One of them youth there were a one of the founding man they must start hot up the place from first. And him did have to take with himself and go a flanker. And the man them put the spotlight pan him down there. And trust me, the man them dirt him. Yeah man, me I tell you. So from that, the youth of them called Grimlord now from Lima, him definitely a preep on a different level. Him a hold him little meds and I go and kick back certain type of way. So watch this now. No, Grimlord run off the gang with them call Grim Team. And presently I try to change them name to 87s. So as I said earlier, from your ear the word 87s, from your ear the term 87s, you know say that associate with a certain type of people. No, Grimlord have a really close friend who is an ex-member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Grimlord is a person who have a lot of money, have a lot of influence and him buy a whole heap of strap and issue out to the youths them in the community of Lima. Everyone afraid of the youth there because it's a dangerous and deadly set of youths. And as me say, why them seem so bad up there so? Because them people there not exposed to the level of crime and violence like those in other Montego Bay hot spot communities. Now Grimlord, we know say from them slap with your brother back in a 2020 a flanker. You not left your strap, none at all. And if you not have it, the youth were there immediately beside you. A them have it. So only little youth we are run up and down with the strap them behind Grimlord. Uno need to understand for no little self. Because a phone of food I go get niam. A phone of family I go ball and ban them belly when time the money can't find for bury some of uno. Uno need to understand on a little self and leave out a crime. No Grimlord, nobody feel like said the squad of them no know where you're there. Or where you go sleep and rest ahead at night time. It's just a matter of time. And me, I advise you, even though me know so this might fall upon deaf ears, but me still I give it a try. Let go of a certain thing. Stop dealing a certain things. Or else you're going to get spread out like shit. 
them say a word to the wise is always sufficient. But some of the time, me convince say, no for uno, don't wise at all. And if uno want to live a certain lifestyle, expect a certain type of treatment when it is handed down to uno. And uno followers, them can always go black road. And always go say police are wicked and all these things. But guess what? At the end of the day, uno get clap where ready and nobody can bring uno come here back. Yeah, man. So, as I say, if you want to continue in the life of crime, please, by all means, go right ahead. But no, say, you're not going to suffer the consequences coming later on. Yeah, man. And another point of information, we get to understand, say, what day I went and we dropped the black pan up there. Whole heap of the ones and ones, them, the old dirty corner boy, them take with themselves and flee to different parts of the island. Hanover, we are talking about Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth, and even as far as Kingston. But nobody feels that there is any safe haven in the permits of Jamaica where Uno can go hide and we can't find Uno. Anywhere Uno there, any hole where Uno go in, where come they come, dig Uno out. Because as long as Uno decide to live a certain type of dirty lifestyle, the police and soldier them are going to deal with Uno in the harshest way possible. Similar to what is being meted out to the regular members of John Public by you, Uno set a whole dirty corner boy on the bit. Yeah, man. So nobody feel like say Uno can run out of the place. And when things cool down, Uno come back and all is well. Them days they done. Yeah, man. We find out who Uno be, who Uno de everything and we are sending the black helmet man them and the camouflage clothes man them come clap on the way if we not decide to change on a life so right now the onus is on you whether or not you are going to stay in your dirty criminal lifestyle or you are going to change or become a contributing factor to our society so right now my peeps remember if you like share subscribe to the channel stay tuned to on the spot news media as i continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts corner boy the choice is yours yeah man